Hello and welcome back to my boss series and map series. We are on the other 78 map, Courtyard. This uh, this tile set's based on the Imperial Garden. Um, and it's a giant square with a, uh, a slightly separated boss room. Um, the uh, you'll see a lot of avian wretches on this map. Uh, sometimes you'll get demons and monkeys. the the base The base maps can really be pretty varied. Um, the general recommended path to clear is to hug one wall until you find the boss room, and then after you clear the bosses, uh, you kind of zigzag. So um, let's put on. Oh, I already have a topaz on. Excellent. So that's the uh, that's kind of the gist of it. I'm just gonna hug the wall, go through here, and uh, find the bosses. I say bosses because there are three bosses. They are based on the uh, the first bosses that spawn when you do the Dominus fight in uh, normal, cruel, and merciless. Uh, so you have the uh, you have the Ark and Spark Totem uh, Lady. You have a Cycloner who leap slams. And then you have the uh, the uh, let's call them fire strike. It's like a lightning strike but with fire, um, and uh, it's all in this little separated room, which uh, is actually fairly convenient because it it prevents you from uh, you know kiting them very very far, but at the same time uh, it gives you kind of a defined space to work with, uh, so you kind of know what's going on. Now there are two ways that I can approach this boss fight. Um, my build is actually able to just uh, vol cyclone and face tank everything, but for the sake of demonstration, we're gonna run around in a circle for a little bit. Uh, it's important to note that if you're doing this fight in a group, do not hit OOS, uh, your out of sync macro, uh, while you're in this fight, uh, and that's because if you force sync your friend on top of this cycloner. Uh, he can, your friend can easily get stunned and just die. Um, in general, what you want to do is get these bosses moving all in the same direction, uh, and you want to rotate around. And if you're ranged, you want to fire damage back at them, move, fire damage back at them, and move. And that's because uh, two of these bosses have uh, abilities that let them leap or warp across. Uh, so, you know, you want to get into this rotation where you're dragging them, you go in and out of line of sight, uh, and you're kind of just picking them off with damage. Um, if you're a spectral throw, you can, you know, uh, you can whirling blades uh, to move and then come back in and fire back, whirling blades to move, wait for them to come back, fire back. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Vol Cyclone, hit my flasks, and watch them all uh, have some fun right on top of me uh, because we're a tank and this is what tanks do is they just tank everything because why would you do anything else and that's the uh... those are the courtyard bosses uh... how you handle them is a, a bit de dependent on your build um, if you have uh, straight line range stuff, you know, do that little kiting. Um, if you trap, you know, throw them down, let them run across it. Uh, clever construction is pretty much necessary if you want to kill these bosses as a trapper uh, because of both the cyclone and the arc. Um, if you're flame blasting, let them come into it. Uh, they're all pretty mobile, so it's hard to um, it's hard to you know put something down and expect them to stay in it, but uh, Pretty much every build with um, with the knowledge of you know how to how these bosses move can deal with them. Uh, totem builds, trappers, casters. Um, you just need to be very consistent about your movement. If you're in a party, don't start going the other direction, or you're going to you know run face first into the cycloner and eat it. Uh, but uh, this was uh, this was courtyard, and thanks for watching.